All new at five now, it is official with President Joe Biden's signature. Juneteenth is now a national holiday. In just two days, Americans around the country will celebrate this new holiday. CBS 4's Skylar Henry reports on the signing of the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act from Washington, D.C. With the stroke of a presidential pen, Juneteenth became the newest federal holiday. By making Juneteenth a federal holiday, all Americans can feel the power of this day and learn from our history. Celebrated on June 19th, it marks the day in 1865 when the last enslaved African Americans in Galveston, Texas, were notified that the Civil War had ended and they were free. It had been more than two years since President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Juneteenth is the first new federal holiday established since Martin Luther King Jr. Day back in 1983. We spoke to Howard University professor Dr. Greg Carr before he attended the bill signing. Putting it in the federal calendar allows us now to pause like we do on Martin Luther King's birthday and reflect. Congress passed the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act this week while it stalled last year in the Senate. That chamber passed the bill unanimously, while only 14 lawmakers in the House, all Republicans, voted against it. Earlier, a group of House Democrats sang Lift Every Voice and Sing at the bill's enrollment ceremony. It's also come to be known as the Black National Anthem. This is an important step for America. For 94-year-old activist Opal Lee, it's been a long time coming. Finally, we've got a Juneteenth bill passed. The Fort Worth, Texas native, known as the grandmother of Juneteenth, began a campaign for the federal holiday in 2016. Even though it's now a reality, she says her work isn't over. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.